Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bettinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I have another Christmas card for you. It's a beautiful card. Let's just get started. Okay, here is my Christmas card. Isn't that just beautiful? Um, this one, Wanda Williams, who's my upline in Stampin' Up! is the one that brought this to me. And so I'm going to show you how to make this today. It's just gorgeous. Let me show you the pieces that you need. Let me bring this up so you can see this a little bit better. There's some marks on this one on the silver, but um, this is using the Settles folder on the foil. Isn't that just amazing? And then this paper is uh, from this paper, which has all of this beautiful photo realism on the back. It's called Feels Like Frost. And here is the paper pack. And it's absolutely beautiful scenes, winter and otherwise. Um, certainly could be used for anything on the one side. And the other side are all foiled in silver. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, and I'll show you one that we made in um, gold as well when we're done here. But I want to make this one in silver so you can see this. All right, so what I used was I used a card base that is Whisper White, eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of um, silver foil. This one's got a little bit of a pinch mark in it, but when we run it through the folder, that just goes away. This is cut four by five and a quarter, and it's a layering piece so that it sits right on top here. And then we need, um, let's see, a piece of Whisper White that is two and three eighths by three and a half. Let me make sure of that. Two and three eighths by three and a half. And then this little piece of designer series paper is two and three eighths by two and five eighths. And then I'm using stamps out of Itty Bitty Christmas. I don't know if you've seen this one but, or not, but this is just lovely. I am using Thinking of You at Christmas on the inside and Seasons Greetings here for the outside. And there's my Seasons Greetings and on the inside Thinking of You and Christmas and another strip of this paper. So in addition to these pieces, we also need a piece of silver that is, see what is this one, five and a half by three quarters of an inch, run through the Suttles folder. And that's what we're using. We're using the Suttles folder, uh, embossing folder to get this look around the edges. And I'm using my stitched frame my rectangle stitched framelit dies, and this is the fourth largest die. And you put this right on here, run it through your die machine, and then when you get your frame cut out, you run that through the Settles folder, and this beautiful thing is what you get. So, let's go ahead and put this card together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this frame and we're going to glue it on the front of our card base here. And I'm going to, even though that is um, embossed, I'm going to go ahead and use snail on that. And because the embossing, again, is so subtle um, that you really do get plenty of glue on here with your um, tape runner. You just want to be careful um, not to get any tape runner on your foil if you can avoid it. It's really, it's almost impossible to get off. Okay, so there is my frame all ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to just hover this over the top until I'm happy with where the margins are and I'm going to put that one down in place. And there we go. All right, the next thing I'm going to do 
is see where these two pieces come together and these pieces are cut using um, two more of the framelits. Let's see, it is this framelit here and this one is the fourth smallest of the uh, die cuts and I'm going to stack these two together and tape them with a little washi tape and then I'm going to run these two together with this die and I will be right back. Okay, when I ran this one through I realized that the measurements that I gave you were in fact the finished size rather than the size of the paper. So this little piece of paper needs to be two and five eighths at minimum by um, two and seven eighths. Uh, and that's so that when you put the die down, the finish is the, the size that I gave you. And this one needs to be two and five eighths by three and three quarters. And then it'll work perfectly. And I'll make sure that those directions, those measurements are perfect down below. Okay, so. Let me move that out of the way and I'm going to do my stamping and um, on this I tried the silver ink and it just really didn't work very well so I ended up using my basic gray ink for this stamping and I'm going to place this on here so I know right where I'm going to in fact I'm going to put a little tiny pencil mark there so I want that stamped, um, and I'm going to put some ribbon around it. So I want it stamped more towards the bottom here. Ink that up and get this set straight here and stamp that towards the bottom. And there we go. Nice season's greetings. I'll take off my pencil mark. And then we're just going to glue this piece on the top. So I'll put some snail on the back here and put this piece down here. And it was fine to die cut these two pieces together, um, particularly if you're not using the thick whisper white on the bottom of this one. Okay. Then the next thing we're going to do is put some of this pretty silver ribbon here to sort of hide that uh, junction there. And I'm going to cut off a length of ribbon there and put some glue on the back side of this. And get my ribbon here kind of on straight where I want it and wrap that around the back like that. Okay, now that piece is all ready to go. Let me move my ink out of the way. I haven't quite put my hands in it yet, but I know myself I will. Okay, so this piece is going to get centered right here and put up on dimensionals. So here we go. I'm going to sort of center this in that opening and raise that. And there we go. Isn't that just pretty? And now I'm going to take this piece of uh, also the, uh, the embossed piece of this. And on this one, just to be a little different, we usually put that on the outside edge. I'm going to put that one on the inside edge of the card, just inside the fold line here. Get that set. And as is normal, I've cut that just a hair longer 
so that I can snip that off and get a perfect fit. So there we go. Now we have one more little bit of stamping to do. So I'll get back my ink pad here. And um, I've got this one that says, Thinking of You at Christmas. And we're going to take that and put that right here in the top on the center. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? And there is our project for the day. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. Uh, and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. And the information is always listed below. My prize for the month of September is your choice of a bundle out of the holiday catalog. And uh, in order to do that, you just need to put an order of any size on my website. And it's changed. It's now just lbedinger.stampinup.net. And I thought I'd leave this scratched out to remind me. You don't put the www in front of it anymore. Just lbedinger.stampinup.net. Or you can get to it from my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. So that's it for me. I will, oh, I forgot to put my bow on. So let me do that and then put my bow on and then I'll be back next time with more cards, more projects, and more tips. So let me make this little bow knot here and get that down and trim up my, oops, well, that looks like I chewed it off. Let me trim up that edge. There we go. And we'll put that on with a glue dot and we're all done. So I'm going to take a glue dot here and put that on my bow knot here and put that on my ribbon. And there we go. So, here is the gold version of this. It is um, done exactly the same way. Now, I couldn't find a paper that had a pattern in it in gold, except in the product medley kit, there are some white with gold image papers in the Most Wonderful Time product medley kit. There's some card fronts that would work. Otherwise, I used a piece of gold foil and put an image down and embossed it in white powder to get that same look. And then, like I said, I have another one coming that's a Thanksgiving card that uses a similar kind of process. But isn't that just pretty? So there we go. So again, thanks for stopping by and I'll be back soon. Bye.